Hey guys, welcome back to Coco's Cosmology. In today's reading, this pick a card reading is going to be for my Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, and Rising signs, okay? And in this reading, this reading is going to be for August 2020, all right? Okay, let's get into this. We have group number one with the red carnelian heart. We have group number two with the clear quartz heart. And we have group number three with the green adventure and crystal. Before we get into your reading for August 2020, I want you guys to take a deep breath and ask the divine what energy surrounds me during August 2020? What should I look out for during August 2020? What surrounds me or what should I look out for during August 2020? After you ask questions like that, you can pause the video and meditate on each card selection. The timestamps will be in the description box down below. All right. And I also will be shuffling Moonology cards for each card selection and positive affirmations for you guys to use throughout of August 2020. I will see you guys in your card selection. Bye. All right. Hi, group number one that chose the carnelian heart. Let's get right into the reading. All right. So we've got the temperance and reverse. We have the king of swords upright. And we also have number 77, spirituality. All right, let's get right into your reading. So with the temperance being in reverse, um, as you guys know, there's some type of lack of balance that may be going on in your life during August 2020. And I keep feeling like I need to say July, but we've been in August for a few days now. So um, this may have to do with your business. This may have to do with your career. This may have to do with your actual relationship with somebody. It can be a relationship that is platonic or it could just be a relationship that you're intimate, okay? So any type of relationship, it may be serving some type of imbalance, okay? And this imbalance also could be um, your spirituality as well, okay? Maybe you're lacking on your spirituality and, you know, you're seeking guidance by watching readings on YouTube or booking readings with people. So that may be your energy that's going on during August 2020 for some of you. All right. So right now it's time for you to try to bring that balance back into your life. You're trying to figure out what steps you need to take to bring balance into your life. Okay. All right. So with this King of Swords energy supporting this temperance card being in reverse, this energy is going to bring order and discipline. So the first half of August or probably the first two, you know, weeks or maybe a couple of days you may be feeling off balance but this king of swords energy is going to bring the air in it's going to let you know okay all right this is what we're going to do this is what you need to do to get spiritually aligned this is what you need to do to you know bring balance into your relationships business wise career wise and you know people building partnerships with other people such as you know romance or you know work related things okay so i feel like this august in energy is going to bring so much balance into your life this king of swords is coming to support you and i feel like for some of you guys that shows this group um you're probably spiritually off balance and you're really asking the divine you're really trying to manifest you know balance into your life right now so that's why you chose this card selection and it's coming to you okay keep manifesting it keep chanting it you know i would chant every morning if i was you and i would wake up and say i am spiritually aligned i am balanced i bring balance i bring peace i am duality you know say and speak those positive words over you sagittarius sun moon and rising and you know let let that energy surround you because that's going to bring everything on one accord for you as far as 
um, your life, you know, as far as moving forward for the month of August and months to come, years to come, okay? And for the people that's around you, bring love into the situation, okay? You know, you've got a lot of air energy here, okay? All right. Ooh, this one's coming out. Both of them. Okay. All right. Sagittarius. Sagittarius want to be heard. Okay. And here she comes. Luck is on your side. New moon in Sagittarius. Totally your energy coming in. And the end of a tough cycle approaches full moon in Capricorn. So whatever this tough cycle is, which may be not being balanced, you know, not feeling like you're balanced in your relationships, um, may be bothering you during the month of August, but that's going to come to an end pretty quickly because King of Swords is coming through and Full Moon and Capricorn is coming through to let you know that, hey, we're not having it. I ask for more understanding, okay? This is your positive affirmations. So you're going to be asking for more understanding for your spirituality, your business, your career, your love life, your friendships during the month of August. So I ask for more understanding so that I may knowingly and lovingly shape my world and my experiences. I ask for more understanding so that I may knowingly and lovingly shape my world and my experiences. I free myself and everyone in my life from old past hurts. They are free and I am free to move into new glorious experiences. I free myself and everyone in my life from old past hurts. They are free and I am free to move into glorious experiences. And one more. The masculine and feminine parts of me are in perfect balance and harmony. I am at peace and all is well. The masculine and feminine parts of me are in perfect balance and harmony. I am at peace and all is well. Wow, Sag. All right, Sagittarius, that is you guys' reading for August 2020. I hope you guys enjoyed this reading. Please give it a thumbs up. Leave comments down below. Subscribe. Hit that notification bell so you won't ever miss an upload. And I'll see you guys in my next reading. Bye. All right, hi, group number two that chose the clear court heart. Let's get right into your reading. We've got the Ace of Cups in reverse. We've got the Four of Cups in reverse. And we have number 16, Rebirth. All right. Ooh, excuse me. I had to break. <laughs> Let's get right into your reading. All right. So we've got the Ace of Cups reverse and the Four of Cups in reverse supporting the Ace of Cups. And with the Ace of Cups being in reverse, you know, this is for your love, joy, and your spirituality. And during the month of August, you guys may be struggling just a little bit with your creativity, you know, a little bit with your emotions or, you know, some physical activity. Um, for some of you guys, it may be infertility. Maybe some of you guys are trying to have a child. Some of you guys probably are pregnant. So, you don't know yet, but you're on the fence trying to figure out. You don't want to see if you are or not, but it's coming. If that's what you want and you want to have a child, the blessings are coming to you and believe that. Okay. All right. So with this, you know, Ace of Cups being in reverse, it will be a perfect time for you to try to find your way back to, um, loving yourself and trusting yourself, you know, getting that energy back during the month of August 2020. And that's where that rebirth energy comes in. You know, you're probably going to be starting some new rituals um, with yourself, you know, into your spirituality, loving yourself, doing things new, you know, more self-care, you know, get more into self-care, Sagittarius, during the month of August. Um, with the Four of Cups being in reverse, you know, say yes to opportunities that are coming to you, like that are good, that are going to be beneficial because it's going to rebirth something new, something great for you. And if you're 
married or have children and you know you guys have a family it's going to rebirth something you know you're going to be someone reincarnated into a better being once you're spiritually aligned and you're doing everything that you love to do you're just going through some creative blockages right now with this ace of cups being in reverse but you are the master of your own destiny and you can create new beginnings. You can give birth to new life, okay, and new opportunities for others and for yourself. You can start something new, Sagittarius. So say yes to this new life. Say yes to a relationship. Say yes to this child that you may be having or carrying in your life. There's nothing but positivity that's coming into your life with this rebirth card. It's beautiful, okay? Rebirth energy, love, happiness, you know, wholeness, completeness, okay? Bring love into the situation is trying to come out. New moon in Aquarius. Maybe you guys are dealing with an Aquarius or you could be with this water energy. You could be dealing with a Pisces, Cancer, or a Scorpio. And you see we got it's time to release negativity. Full moon in Scorpio popping up and nothing will come of this situation. And every time I see nothing will come of this situation it usually comes up with this four of cups energy or with the four of cups being upright or reverse and nothing's going to come of this situation if you don't persevere through it Sagittarius you got to pull through it and some of you guys may struggle with some type of depression it may be seasonal depression or it just may be um certain things that may happen that gives you anxiety or depression and it's time for you to bring love into this situation do a little self-care with yourself and love on yourself a little bit extra during the month of august because if you don't um it will it won't get resolved we're going to push together and we're going to move forward all right there is no blame there is no blame there's no one to blame okay you're strong you're beautiful you're happy you're amazing you're creative push through that okay i turn every experience into an opportunity yes you are the rebirth you are moving into that energy okay my willingness to forgive begins my healing process i allow the love from my own heart to wash through me cleansing and healing every part of my body i know i am worth healing my willingness to forgive begins my healing process I allow the love from my own heart to wash through me, cleansing and healing every part of my body. I know I am worth healing, okay? All right, Sagittarius, I hope you guys enjoyed this reading. Please give it a thumbs up. Leave comments down below. Subscribe. Hit that notification bell so you won't ever miss an upload. And I'll see you guys in my next one. All right, and last but not least, group number three that chose the green adventuring. Let's get right into your reading. All right, we've got three of cups energy. We have the star card. We have number 22, intuition. Ooh, this is just real beautiful. And you know, the vibes is just like, ooh, it just felt real good when I pulled these cards out. Okay, so you've got Three of Cups energy in the Star card. So with the Three of Cups, you guys are going to be doing a lot of celebration during the month of August 2020, gathering um, with a few of your friends. You know, some of you guys are going to be doing business partnerships with your friends during the month of august 2020 collaborating you know building businesses getting with like-minded people in a social group that's going to help you grow and expand during the month of august 2020 and i feel like for some of you guys you guys have came together with some of your friends and you guys have set down a, some type of foundation for your business to grow and you know you guys may be taking pictures post it up, you know, doing some type of things to launch your business, okay? Now, with this star card, 
beautiful perfect card to be supporting you during the three of cups besides the magician okay the star card is supporting you because it's leading and guiding you north star leading and guiding you to go on the right path leading and guiding you to the right place giving you balance okay giving you balance, encouraging you, guiding you, you know, and your intuition is coming in full force, okay, Sagittarius? You've got Aquarius energy here, and then you have this Cups energy here. You know, it's a lot of water here, okay? So your emotions may be running high from excitement, you know? Emotions may be running high from your intuition kicking in, like, yes, this is the right moment to launch my business this is the right time to work on my business this is the right time for me to move forward with business things okay with like-minded people people who understand my vision okay so that's what you're going to be pursuing during the month of august 2020 Ooh. all right so we've got communication is key, new moon in Gemini. You're definitely going to be communicating with a group of people who share the same interests as you and want to see you grow, want to see you prosper, and they're happy about it. You know, they're happy that you're doing this, okay? Don't let your past hold you back. All right, and I want to pull one more for you guys. Shuffle it out, and you are good enough, okay? So... Communicate with your people, grow, <clears throat> move forward, and be happy. Also, don't let your past hold you back. Maybe you have launched a business before, courses, or whatever it may be that you're doing that you are collaborating with other people with. Don't let your past experiences hold you back from moving forward. And remember that you are good enough to be an entrepreneur. You are good enough to move forward and be your own boss, okay? Because why not? I am not limited by any past thinking. We don't care what happened in the past. We learned from it. We moved on. I choose my thoughts with care. I constantly have new insights and new ways of looking at my world. I am willing to change and grow. I am not limited by any past thinking. I choose my thoughts with care. I constantly have new insights and new ways of looking at my world. I am willing to change and grow. I willingly forgive. I breathe love into my vision and I see my compassion and understanding. My clear insight is reflected in my outer sight. And the last one for you guys. I only give out that which I wish to receive in return. I love and accept of others is mirrored to me in every moment. I only give out that which I wish to receive in return. My love and acceptance of others is mirrored to me in every moment. All right, Sagittarius, I hope you guys enjoyed this reading. Please give this reading a thumbs up. Leave comments down below. Subscribe. Hit that notification bell so you won't ever miss an upload. And I'll see you guys in my next reading.